Hello, welcome back. We're going to talk about the attenuation of x-rays. If you look up attenuation in the dictionary, you get the act or process of attenuating something or the state of being attenuated, such as a, a lessening in the amount of force, magnitude or value, weakening. That's the key bits to this here. It's about the attenuation of x-rays and the use of attenuation for certain effects. Now, x-rays themselves they're just a part of the wider electromagnetic spectrum. So if you're looking at the electromagnetic spectrum itself, uh, so your visible light is, is around here, and uh, you know the, this, this is all sort of non-ionizing radiation. We start to get up here, ultraviolet, and this is where it starts to get a bit dodgy because that's where you're going to get sunburn, and then your x-rays are here. So that's, um, that's up in the dangerous region. The key point here is, it's not visible light. However, it can be seen by certain things. And, and we take the products of the thing that sees the X-ray and we turn it into something that we can see in visible light. Um, so of course, X-rays are then able to sort of pierce through objects. And depending on whether they're absorbed or scattered, you can create images of what is inside those objects. So that's why they're incredibly useful to look inside things without having to go inside there yourself. You know, get an x-ray for your bones without having to do the whole exploratory surgery thing. Certainly is um, a little less invasive. So um, x-rays themselves have a sort of two regions that can be judged as. Low energy x-rays are called soft x-rays and high energy x-rays are called hard x-rays. The higher the energy of the x-ray, the more it can penetrate, the greater its um, power. Um, now, soft x-rays, lower energy x-rays, are better for looking at soft tissue. Higher energy x-rays are better for looking at harder tissue or things with heavier nucleuses, such as metal atoms and if there's one thing bones carry a lot of it's calcium well it's not mountains of it but there's enough to be able to create an after effect and that's why you can see the bones in your hand um, when you shine x-rays on it whilst the soft tissue seems to sort of dissipate and disappear from the image itself one of the great things i've seen is this uh fourth amendment t-shirt you can buy with metallic printed ink. Um, metal atoms are really good at, at absorbing x-rays and the way this uh, works is when you go to the airport and they do that whole x-ray scan thing, the Fourth Amendment talks about the right not to be sort of searched and all this, you know, the whole, everyone's about their amendment rights in America and so when they do the x-ray scan, the Fourth Amendment comes up on the TSA screen. Um, it's your little chance to protest being x-rayed at the airport. This is a great image though and that it demonstrates how this works. The x-rays are shone through the bloke there and if he was carrying a gun or anything metal, knife etc it would show up because it's got metal ions. You can see there that the there's a big white area and that that's you know the fourth amendment there. That's because the metal is absorbing the x-rays. So all the x-rays that go through cause the image to turn black and where the x-rays are absorbed the image stays um, white so it's a sort of a shadow that's cast there's a couple of videos that i'll show you later which are a great demonstration of this but what you're seeing on the x-ray film or the the image that is produced uh, by a digital um, receiving instrument is actually the shadow created by things blocking the x-rays causing them to either be absorbed or scattered 